The Bed of Chaos, Birthplace of Demons. Quite literally, in fact, depending on how you interpret its shape language, it's arguably shaped vaguely like ovaries in a womb, which means that when the player, well, penetrates to its depths and kills the tiny bug in there, suffice to say there's thematic implications there, which Miyazaki would revisit in Bloodborne. Visually, the bed is the source of demons in another way, though. It is a wild and twisting thicket of roots and branches and flames, which is also the imagery of demons. From the Asylum and Capra and Taurus demons through Quilag, the Ceaseless Discharge, and the Centipede demon, this mixed madness of branches and roots with insect legs and fire is in evidence in different ways across all of them. It's honestly an impressive visual coherence. The bed was created by the Witch of Isolith and her followers when they tried to create their own first flame, and the result of that experiment was this wild and uncontrollable explosion of creation. Proof that the first flame is not the only source of life, it's just a source of life that can be controlled by a god with enough determination. Subscribe to this channel for shorts, or watch my full Soulsborne analysis series on my main channel.